Hello traders and welcome to the Get Started with Ninja Trader 8 video series. In this video we're going to go ahead and discuss getting connected to market data. Some of the things that we're going to go ahead and cover here is how to run Ninja Trader, how to configure a connection, connecting to multiple accounts, and understanding connection status. As a reminder, trading does carry a significant risk and all information in this video is provided for educational purposes only and is not offer or recommendation to trade futures, stocks, options, or forex. Now the first thing that you may notice is that you may have two icons with NinjaTrader 8, 64-bit, and just NinjaTrader 8. Now the 64-bit is optimized for your system, the Windows system, uh, so you can go ahead and use this most of the time. And what you're going to do is just double click to start NinjaTrader. With NinjaTrader open, you may get a window asking you about your account information. If you have your account information already, go ahead and put in your broker, put in your login, just copy and paste in there, especially if it's a demo account, go ahead and put your demo name in there along with a password. And then you'll bring up this NinjaTrader control panel. Now to go ahead and configure a connection, click on connections, go to configure. You can go ahead and choose a different connection here. So whichever your connection is, let's say it is CQG, go ahead and load that in the configured box. Go ahead and call this connection name, whatever you'd like. Put in your username and password. I would recommend to not check this box off. You don't want it to connect on startup. Let NinjaTrader load and then go ahead and manually connect. If you have Forex data, go ahead and check this box. Otherwise, you can go ahead and leave it on demo if you do indeed have a demo account. If it's not demo, make sure you uncheck this box. And then once you're done, go ahead and hit OK. With the connection configured, go ahead and manually connect to account. Go ahead and left click on connections again. Go ahead and left click on the account that you want to go ahead and connect to. And it'll give it a second and it'll go ahead and load here. Yellow means it's connecting. You can hover over the light to go ahead and see exactly what the status is saying. Green will be connected. If it's red, it means that it is not connected at that time. It is trying to reconnect. If you go ahead and disconnect by going to connections and clicking disconnect, it'll have this grayish color here indicating that you are disconnected, no connections to the account. Again, if you hover over the light, it'll always go ahead and tell you the status, if it's connecting, connected, or disconnected. You also have the ability to connect to multiple accounts. So you can go ahead and connect to the NinjaTrader continuum. And then you can also connect to myforex.com, for instance. Now with both connected, you can go ahead and again hover over the connection status and see that my Ninja Trader Continuum is connected and my Forex.com is also connected. Again, if any of those were to go ahead and disconnect for whatever reason, you can go ahead, you'll see the red light here, and you can just go ahead and hover over it and see which one has disconnected. 